Hello everyone, it's Ross Kelly, CEO and Realtor with Love and Realty and Investment Company, and welcome to Simply Vidalia, episode number 13. And on today's episode, I hope you brought your appetite because we're at Ocean Galley Seafood and Steaks in Vidalia. Our special guest today is Wayne Searcy. Wayne, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to have an opportunity to come into your place of business. Uh, you're a co-owner. Uh, it's only 10.30 in the morning, but it already smells delicious in here, and so uh, I know it won't be long before people will be coming into the door to get fed lunch. So thank you for taking time out of your schedule to have us. Yes, sir. We uh, enjoy uh, what we do here. Uh, everybody is back there right now getting ready. Uh, 11 o'clock, we open up, and we'll be serving food at 11 o'clock. Good, good. Why don't you tell, uh, start off by telling the viewing audience a little bit about the history of Ocean Galley. Well, Ocean Galley was started in uh, Statesboro um, about 19 years ago. Um, started in an operation that we had in Florida. And I brought the concept up here to Georgia. Uh, we done real well in Statesboro and we started branching out in other uh, surrounding cities. Uh, we have one in uh, Claxton, Georgia. Been there about seven years now. Uh, we opened up Vidalia in April of 2013 and uh, we've been going strong since then um, everything is uh, it's been good to us good good. all the surrounding towns have been very good to us good why don't you tell us the other locations where you now have operating stores well we have the Claxton Georgia mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit smaller uh, we have drive-through window even there uh, we do a lot of takeout service there but we also have 15 seats or 15 tables, I'm sorry. Uh, so th there is dine-in and take-out. Uh, we have this location here uh, in Vidalia, and Statesboro has been uh, has been our our mothership, I guess yeah. you you would call it, and uh, it's been our main uh, our main branch. Uh, it's what got us known to the public and the surrounding communities around us. Uh, we've been very fortunate, very, very lucky in our business. Well, good. I want to share a, spur a personal story with you. Uh, the first time I think I ever heard of Ocean Galley is my parents, Ann and David Lovins, had uh, investment properties over in Statesboro, and they would often go over once a week just to check on things. And uh, they had one particular property that was over in the area of where Mill Run was, and mm -hmm. every time they came home, they came home with some plates of food just left over. And they would just tell us, you cannot believe how much food they give you. So they would go there and eat lunch. I think they always got the uh, like the fried combo for two or something. But right. they would come home and they would eat two or three days off of that. And they just <laughs> raved about Ocean Galley and Statesboro. <laughs> well, uh, that kind of made us uh, famous a little bit. The quantity mm -hmm. as well as the quality of food that you get. Uh, we go through a lot of takeout boxes here. Yeah, uh, a lot of people cannot eat all the food that we put on the plate. We want to make sure everybody gets fed and gets fed well. Well, obviously it's working because I just say they came home with just plates full of food and raved about it. Why don't you tell me what enticed you to personally to get into the food service business? I started in the business. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Um, my parents knew their uh, friends were starting a restaurant just like this uh, and they needed a bus boy okay. I was 14 years old started in the business as a bus boy and had worked for them for 21 years before I branched out on my own brought the concept up to Georgia and uh, it's been it's been a great life ever, ever since. Well, that's a classic American story, you know, start from the bottom and hustle your way to the top. Bus boy. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. the way to do and it. And I enjoyed it. I love the family connection mm -hmm. that you can have with your customers as well as your employees. Uh, it's it, You've got to love the business. Uh, it is part of your life. Uh, it consumes a little bit of your life. Uh, so if you can enjoy the people that come in here, and the stories that they have to tell, it's a wonderful business. Very rewarding, isn't it? Very rewarding. It's self-satisfying to, yeah. to know that you had this restaurant packed out full of people and everybody was happy and went home just, full. just loving food. Full and satisfied. Yes. Well, I know I've never left 
with a, a hint of hungerness in me when I've been here to eat. And I believe you also incorporate family dynamics into the business. I believe you have uh, family members that work at the different locations. I do. I have my wife and three children. They're all involved in the restaurants. Uh, my son, Garrett Searcy, he runs this restaurant. Uh, my wife and my two daughters, uh, Mallory and uh, Ma uh, Mallory and Maddie, work at the Statesboro store. And Carrie, my wife, she's one of our managers at the Statesboro store. We've had people at the Statesboro store. It's been our oldest store. Uh, we've had people there that's been there about 12 to 13 years. Wow. Uh, and in this industry, that's hard to find. That is a hard it is. commitment. I've got several people that's been with me 10 plus years. And that really helps out with the consistency of food and how we bring things together and serve it to you. Yeah. I understand we have uh, individuals with our company, Lovins Realty, that has been with us about that length of time. And it just builds a team and, a, like you said, a pretty much a family aspect. And, and everybody treats the business like it's their own. Like it's their own. It does. Once they've put that much time into it, they really enjoy what they're doing. They like what uh, who they're doing it for. And uh, it makes the job uh, easier as well as rewarding. Yeah, you know, yeah. I can see what they've done in their family life growing up. I've had uh, one of my managers here is actually out on maternity leave, okay. uh, Brittany Sexton. She is due any minute. Oh, wow. Yes. She hasn't had the baby yet, but literally any minute. Okay. And we have seen so many people throughout them years have babies, raise families, and they become part of us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, your employees have to love not only what they do, they have to love the people they work for, so that speaks multitudes of you and your family. Well, thank you. Thank you. We try hard to make everything uh, as comfortable uh, as work can be. Good. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the most popular items on your menu uh, here in the Vidalia store? Well, uh, of course, the good old fried shrimp. Everybody loves a good fried shrimp. Yeah. We have a good portion. But I think our, uh, one of the platters that got us going real good was our Ocean Galley platter for two. Okay. Uh, you get a large uh, heaping helping of uh, shrimp, oysters, scallops, clam strips. You get devil crab and two pieces of fish. But each person, because it's a platter for two, you get two sides of your choice wow. uh, of about nine different sides. So each person is going to get uh, quite a bit of food. And that when that platter comes out and you see people looking, you know, <laughs> I want that. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So it, it's one of our big sellers. It okay. is. Okay, and that's obviously the reason you go through a lot of takeout boxes. Yes, yes. We It's piled up like that. It's piled up high. Uh, for a seafood house, we serve a real good steak. We have to start out with a good quality piece of meat, okay. and that's the only way you're going to end up with a good steak, is to start out with a good steak. That's right. So your steaks are really popular on the menu. Very much so. E even more in Vidalia than it is in Statesboro. Oh, yeah. I can Vidalia, believe that. they eat some steaks. We consume some meat around yes, here. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, besides the platter, just tell us some of the other items that uh, people can expect to possibly come in and look and see on the menu. Well, you can come in here and get a variety uh, of, we have gator tail, uh, crab legs, um, any type of seafood, the shrimp, scallops, oysters. We have oysters on the half shell. Uh, they come in, in and out of season, so yeah. sometimes I, I do have them, sometimes I don't. Uh, but it's a good item. We have different toppings that we put on them. Uh, your Rockefellers, your uh, uh, just Italiano, uh, mm -hmm. things that we had made up uh, south of the border, which is a real popular one with cheese and bacon and jalapenos. That does sound good. So uh, it, it's a good popular item. We even have frog legs. We have a swamp platter. Okay. Okay, that comes with gator tail, clam strips, whole catfish, frog legs, and a soft shell sitting right on top. Wow. Again, it's another heaping platter of food that yeah. comes out. And when people see that, they, it, they're they really drawn to it. And it comes with crawfish also. So oh, just nice. about everything in the in the swamp. So we put a visual with the smells, and everybody's like, that's what I want. I right want there. one of those. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mixed grill that is 
just very popular with uh, skewers of jumbo shrimp, skewers of jumbo scallops, mm -hmm. and a piece of snapper, a red snapper on a bed of rice. Nice. Comes out in a very large plate. Okay. With breadstick. It's it's. That sounds it's delicious. Popular. And that it brings is. me to the next point. I was going to say, you know, a lot of people these days are trying to eat more healthy. Uh, let's just say I'm, I'm swinging in for lunch and I just want to grab something light, salads, things like that. What do you guys offer? We have uh, fried or uh, uh, grilled chicken breast salad. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of people eat the shrimp salads. Okay. Uh, we have a few pasta items. One of them is called the Big Easy. That is uh, shrimp, uh, grilled uh uh, onions and mm -hmm. peppers, and uh, it comes with andouille sausage mm -hmm. with uh, tortellini uh, pasta. Okay. And then we put an Alfredo sauce, mix it all together with some blackening seasoning, and wow, put it all on the plate. It's one of our best pasta dishes. Well, but anything great. that we fry, mm -hmm. we can broil. Good. So, and we do have the grilled chicken. People love the grilled chicken. We, you can get it as a sandwich or a salad. That's right, and it's good for people to know that they can come and get a healthy option. Oh yes, as well yes. as and the boiled shrimp. The boiled shrimp. People are popular with the boiled mm -hmm. shrimp. That's something that they can still enjoy that shrimp taste mm -hmm. and stay away from the fried food. Yeah, absolutely. Well, those are all great staples to have on the menu. Uh, lastly desserts you know a lot of people want to clean the palate with something sweet yeah. what do you have we have a fried cheesecake that people really enjoy okay uh we have a key lime pie that's just that's my favorite just tart to yeah. kind of finish things off mm -hmm. uh we were playing around when i opened up this store with some uh we call them pup cakes okay and i have them th th we're still kind of playing with them they're kind of hard it's like a hush puppy uh, that we fry up that's like a donut with mm -hmm. ice cream in it. Oh, so no. it, when we have those, and we have different flavors. We have key lime, we have vanilla, we've had uh, red velvet. Uh, those are really fun, and people enjoy those. And yeah. I, ha I need to bring those back. Uh, yeah. People do want those. But delicious. we have a nice piece of cheesecake, uh, New York style. Um, and we can serve it as is or fried mm -hmm. with ice cream, drizzle any kind of chocolate or strawberry or cherries, anything like that over it. And yeah. uh, people people really seem to enjoy it. Oh, I'm sure. And it sounds like y'all got all the areas covered. You got a little something for everybody. Yes, we do. We've got a large kids menu as well. Good. Won't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. The kids menu is a smaller version, of course, but uh, they got a wide choice of fish. They can have flounder. They can have tilapia. They can have the butterfly shrimp, bite-sized shrimp, chicken strips. We have a corn dog. Okay. We have what we call a buckaroo burger, which okay. is a four ounce nice uh, burger uh, for the kids. Uh, plenty of crayons and sheets for them to color on so they can uh, enjoy their meal Good. while the parents enjoy theirs. That's right. Well, I tell you, I think a, ch a children's menu from a father uh, with children is very important because we spend a lot of time on St. Simon's and there's some places we just can't go mm. because they don't have a, a good children's menu or yeah. a children's menu at all. So that's yep. very good. Sounds like you got a, a real broad one. Yes, well, we do. And uh, uh, grilled cheese is on that also. So good. all the kids enjoy a grilled cheese. Okay. Wayne, why don't you tell the viewing audience where they can locate you at here in Vidalia? We are at 1303 uh, East 1st Street on uh, in Vidalia, Georgia. Uh, we are next to Palmer's Furniture in a strip mall uh, just past the hospital heading west. Okay, and what are your hours? Our hours are Sunday through Thursday from 11 o'clock to 9 o'clock and on Friday and Saturday from 11 to 10 o'clock. Okay, great. Well, what I'd like to do now, Wayne, uh, kind of coming to the end of the show, why don't you address the viewing audience and invite them out to your uh, restaurant? We've been working real hard to make everything good for everybody here. Uh, make sure that you have that good dining experience. Some people work all week long just to go out that one time. And we want to make sure uh, the best that we can to make sure that your meal and your experience here at Ocean Galley is a wonderful experience and something that you're going to take home and tell your family and tell your friends. So come on out and see us. Well, Wayne, thank you so much again for opening up your restaurant and allowing us to come in and shoot this episode of Simply of Idea. It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. I've enjoyed it very much. 
Well, there you have it, everyone. Wayne Searcy with Ocean Galley Seafood and Steaks in Vidalia. I'm Ross Kelly, CEO and Realtor of Lovin's Realty. We'll see you next time.